Well, the president is always molded by the people he meets, and that's why he ran for president is president. Uh, the forgotten man, forgotten woman, and I would put many of those families in those categories because they feel like they have not gotten the voice and the visibility that they and their loved ones deserve. Um, their loved ones are victims of senseless tragedies, and I'm so happy they came here, and even for those who decided not to come here, that they always have an open door here, open phone line, open door. They're welcome here anytime. And I will just uh, echo the words of my colleague, Jerron Smith, who was in the meeting, and Senator Tim Scott. Senator Tim Scott said he saw a president, compassion, listening, really moved, turned to the Attorney General at some point and said, take, uh, take a look at that, change that, or make that happen, I think, were the words. You can go back and look at the public reporting. Uh, but I've seen that many times. We had the Parkland families here. I saw something very similar. Uh, many times I've seen it privately and then in public events as well. Um, I saw it on the campaign and then taking the drug crisis into this White House where he would be stopped by people and say, please, I lost my sister. We didn't even know that she was using. Please, you, this is going all over the state of New Hampshire. It's going all over here in West Virginia. You have to do something. And indeed, he's done something. So I think that the president took it very far yesterday in an executive order, as far as an executive can. Now it goes to the legislature. I'm very heartened by what I see in fairly quick action for a Congress that hasn't acted very speedily um, and, and very um, collaboratively, except for, say, the CARES Act of, of recent time. So I think the Senate Republicans coming out with a 100-page bill shows you the seriousness and the earnestness with which they are approaching the topic of police reform. But I think what the president did yesterday was very different because he brought together um, communities, families, and then separately the law enforcement folks themselves. You can't just do one or the other. And I think that's been the problem. That's been the half-baked nature of this in the past. I was just reading an article from early July 2015, so the article's almost five years old, and the headline says, um, for President Obama, police reform is a work in progress. So I think now we see more work and a lot more progress.